Content creator Elsa Majimbo and a renowned supermodel Naomi Campbell seemed pretty close like two, three years ago, but that ain't the case now. What happened to their friendship? For those of you who might not know, they were tight back in 2021. Around that time, Elsa used to do funny videos where she'd eat crisps and make jokes. She had just gone viral and faced cyberbullying at the same time. It's also around this time that Naomi Campbell had just been named Magical Kenya Ambassador, a decision that didn't sit well with most Kenyans who felt a Kenyan was more deserving of the post. Naomi Campbell has a villain Malindi and once in a while she comes to Kenya to chill there and just unwind. Elsa claimed to have texted her on Instagram around December 2020 when she was in Nairobi doing her shopping. Naomi Campbell agreed to a meetup and sent her details on the location. Elsa was over the moon, this being the first celeb meetup she was going to have, so she decided to go with her brother. And thereafter, Naomi offered to go with her on vacation back to Malindi. As she mentioned, there are some empty slots on the plane she was to go back with. Elsa agreed to go with her, and while in Malindi, that is when they shot the documentary. Very nice vacation. Naomi took care of me the whole entire time. Naomi was like, oh, you know, we should do um, a documentary, a film about you living in Kenya. And I was like, oh, yeah, that's fantastic. So a couple of people she was on vacation were coming to Nairobi after the vacation. They were staying at the Kempinski. So I went to see them um, at the Kempinski when the whole thing was over. So I went, I sat down with them. I was talking to one of them. And one of them was like, oh, it's so, like, how did you meet Naomi? And I was like, oh, no, I texted her on Instagram, blah, blah. And she was like, oh, yeah, she told us, like, she made you and she built you and she made your career. And I was like, what? No, that's not what happened. She, and I was like, you mean like helped me and like promoted me? And he, she was like, no, like what you have is because of her. And I was like, oh yeah, no, that didn't happen. It is very important. You remember that part later. Okay. So in T22, we have jumped into March 2022. I get a phone call. Um, My phone is ringing. <laughs> Naomi Campbell. Oh, so um, I pick up. I'm like, hey, sis, like, how are you? How are you doing? And she's like, Elsa, how dare you? Oh, so I'm in shock, right? I'm in shock. I don't know what's going on. So I had just, so let me tell you what happened, the context of this um, phone call. So I had just finished a doc, not just, the previous year, I had done a documentary on my life, about my life, about bullying, about growing up with colorism, all these things, about comedy, where I fell in love with comedy. So um, um, the film was debuting at Tribeca Film Festival and someone from Tribeca asked Naomi if she's coming and Naomi thought the film was the film she had suggested to me on the beach about me leaving Kenya. So I was like, no, 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 that's not what it's about. I tried explaining to her. And then she was like, I'll sue you for the rights of this movie and you know I'll win, right? So I'm like, oh my goodness. I'm like, this is crazy. I'm telling you, this is not, it's not about that. So I tell her, let me call you tomorrow. And she, she asked me like, why didn't you tell me when I told you at the beach? And I was like, you're Naomi Campbell. You know, like I was starstruck. Like I, like it took me very long to like process that moment. I called her the day after, immediately I landed in Ghana. So she's the first person I called. I'm like, hey, um, hey, blah, blah. Like, are you free to talk? And she tells me, you were supposed to call me tomorrow. You, you were supposed to call me yesterday. You didn't call me yesterday, which she was very right about. And she said, I have the Met Gala. And she was like, this is the last time I'm speaking to you. Have a nice life. And she hung up, which I was like, I was very saddened by the situation, right? But I was like, if that's how she truly feels, because I respect people's um, space. So I was like, if that's how she truly feels, fine, it's okay. So. So at this point, things are a bit salty between Elsa and Naomi. Elsa starts feeling like things are not just going her way. Maybe she's being blackballed because she's not, not getting along with Naomi. She tries to apologize so many times, but Naomi shuts her down and tells her, yo, I have a kid to raise. Just stop it. I tried calling her. I tried texting her. And then one day she just texted me and she was like, stop stop trying to stop calling me i have a child to take care of so after that i just said okay there's nothing i can do about it i started drinking that's why i even quit alcohol i started drinking um i became i started drinking a lot a lot a lot yeah and you know what i need to fix this so i went to one of our mutual friends and i was like hey please can you um tell naomi because i need you to text me and she was like yeah i'll make sure and blah blah naomi finally texted me and she was like yeah i let that go a long time ago i'm not one to hold a grudge 
flash forward to 2023 in the beginning they became friends again and elsa decided this time she wants to be to do better and this meant keeping her posted on every aspect of her life and it was she felt this is not healthy she called her mom over the same and said she felt it was normal it's not healthy and she decided eventually you know what i am cutting myself off from this situation to me so i wouldn't say she made me but she did play um a big role in a lot of the things that i did in that space during that time so yeah me and her were not friends we're not enemies we're not anything just not really in association so we're just strangers from besties to strangers for those of you who've been curious there you have it if you liked this video give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe catch you next time